I introduce you the Pyrodrome. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we are gonna talking about this transmitter. This is the Tango 2 transmitter, which has some stock gimbals that are not really uh, how I like them. I really find them very low quality. They feel very stiff when you initially buy the controller and I have uh, did some adjustments inside for the springs to make them a little bit smoother but they are still not feeling right so now the time has come to make an upgrade so I introduce you the Pyrodrone whole gimbal for uh, this controller and I cannot wait to show you what's inside the box and uh, to show you how I'm going to install the gimbals. I don't think it's going to be a very difficult process. And also after that, I can't wait to see how these new gimbals feel. These are my first CNC gimbals. These are machine gimbals and they should provide a very, very smooth experience as well as a very good quality feel. And they should really be easy to install in this controller because it's specially designed for the Tango 2 controller and also for the Mambo controller. It's licensed by Team Blackship and this is the V1.2. So they have passed through several revisions until they got into this point. Okay, so enough with the talking. Let's see what we have first to do. Uh, Let's first open the box. So this is the box. It's very nice wrapped into a plastic bag and I'm going to rip this off and see what's inside. Let's open this. Nice. The box is it's matte and uh, it looks very nice. Let's try to open it. I think it's a slide box. Oh, it's opening hard. Okay, I got it. So we have one box for, I think, only one gimbal here. Great. So we have here the two gimbals. One is for the left stick and the other, of course, for the right one. Uh, let's open one and see what we have inside. All right, so very, very uh, premium feel. It starts to feel very well. I'm so excited to open these gimbals. Let's get this out of the box. Inside we have the gimbal itself and a plastic bag with some screws that I will need to install this and some instructions. And in the other box, the same thing. So we have the, the gimbal with the screws. Great, so these are the gimbals, very well packed. Uh, I don't want them opened yet so i will start by disassembling the transmitter first and i will show you how this should be done so to open up the tango 2 transmitter you have to remove this uh, rubber pads behind it you just pull it with a little bit of force and just above here it has something that has to slide out be careful not to damage this one. All right, this is it. And now you have some screws around this case that have to be removed. Okay, so you need to use a T6 Torx screwdriver for these screws. Let's start disassembling this.
All right, so these are the six screws. Let's try now to, to remove the case. It's getting out very easily, like this. And now here we have first the battery, which has a connector right here. You need to remove the connector and the battery is connected to the board using a Velcro. So I will just pull it out like this. So it is a Velcro here. It's very, very rough. So it just binds it there on the board. I will put this battery aside. And here inside we have the firmware SD card, I think, and what's inside, I don't know exactly what's on it. And we have a speaker connector right here on the left that I will remove it. And I don't see anything else, just an antenna right here above. And now let's remove all the screws of the board and continue this assembly. We need to remove first the motherboard, the entire board, and then we will uh, have access to the gimbals. Let's do it. And this is the last screw. I think I have to remove also this connector here, but I'm not sure I think it's from the display and I shouldn't do it. Let's try to remove the board easily. This connector right here, this needs also to be removed. Now it should get out. All right, it is out. I only have to be careful with this antenna right here. I will not open that, it's not needed to remove the antenna. Just remove the gimbals, this is one gimbal and this is another one. I will put them in the same position, I found them, so I know how to place the new ones. Alright, let's see, let's take out the first gimbal. And see what we have inside this little bag. All right, we have the gimbal right here. It is protected. Good. Very nice. It is all milled alloy and it feels very robust and and very 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 premium <laughs> compared to this one this is a lot heavier and another level good so this is the the right stick I will put it right here I hope I put it in the correct spot okay so there is only one possible way to install this and the throttle one let's take this out as well beautiful 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 quality this looks awesome look at this quality guys look at this look perfect i will put this like this right here these are the new gimbal screws one set and the other set we cannot reuse the old screws let's put this back together now Okay, so now the board is in the correct spot, the buttons are still working. I will start by assembling the, the gimbal screws and afterwards the, the screws of the, the board itself. 
Alright guys, so I have installed the board over the gimbals and screwed down the new gimbal screws which are these four holes and the other board screws that uh, I have reused the old ones. So let's put aside this old stuff here. Now let's try if to see if everything's properly installed. It looks good to me, but I was expected them to be very flush with the case. It looks like it isn't, but it's very, very nice. I can't wait to test them out to see how I will fly using the whole gimbals, the CNC ones, but this is fantastic. Great, so let's continue the assembly. I have to plug in the speaker, the screen and the battery back. And then I will close the case and I can't wait to, to see how everything feels when it's all together. And now that I have installed the grips, I think it's the right moment to ask you to like this video and support my channel with a subscribe. If you find my videos helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This will help me a lot to progress and go ahead with the, the new videos that I have planned to make. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas of new products that you would like me to see testing. Uh, I would be glad to, to see you are starting to get involved to communicate with me on the channel. Uh, now let's get back to the controller. I have it all back together. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a big difference. This definitely will not make me or you a better pilot, but it will help me get closer to, to achieving the peak performance that uh, I was training since I started flying FPV. But this definitely feels very, very premium and good quality. I really recommend them based on the feel and how they look and the construction of them. These are great. Let's hope this will be awesome flying as well. One more thing that's very important and you really have to do that, I'm pretty sure this is mandatory, is to calibrate the gimbals. So the TPS Tango 2 has a gimbal calibration uh, sequence and I will try to help you do that. So now let's power on the remote controller and see if we have inputs from the gimbals and how this looks. Probably we will need a calibration sequence to be performed, but this is not mandatory, I think. So here I have the inputs of, the, of each channel and let's see if everything works. Nice. So I see that the throttle works correctly. The rudder as well, or yo, I'm used to airplanes commands, and the roll and pitch works as well. So I don't think we have to calibrate it anymore, but I will leave down in the comments the calibration procedure or a link where you can find this, this calibration procedure. And if you have any questions about that, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them and help you with uh, any issues you will encounter if this is the case. So this is the video. Thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure to spend some time with you again. This is the TBS Tango 2 and the Pyrodrone CNC gimbals. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.